play Guida. That was weird. But the video is still rolling. I th something just popped up on my phone and I apologize for that. Uh, I wish that I could edit it out, but again, I'm still mastering that stuff and I don't want to screw up the whole thing because I did one a few weeks ago. I had my two videos going and I was editing and I uh, ended up deleting the whole videos and I just wanted to flip the table. Anyways, the next fight is Jim Miller versus Clay Guida. This fight's another interesting fight. Clay Guida is a big fan favorite. He's just getting it, uh, and he just got inducted into the Hall of Fame with uh, Diego Sanchez, who Diego's one of my favorite fighters growing up. He's the first fighter I ever gravitated to, and what, the first time I ever watched UFC was the very first Ultimate Fighter event with Kenny Florian versus Diego Sanchez, and Diego Sanchez won the fight. And it was the first fight I ever watched for UFC, and I absolutely loved it. Diego Sanchez destroyed Kenny Florian, and I loved it. And then after that was the uh, Stefan Bonner versus Forrest Griffin fight. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was a long, 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 long time ago, and it was just awesome. Anyways, I do have Miller. I have Miller winning by decision. I didn't know that. I actually was just thinking that I, that I was probably going to take Clay Guida, but apparently what I have written down is I have Miller winning. But the more that I think about it, and this is just one of those things, Jim Miller actually has Lyme disease that he obtained from a tick, which is one of those super rare cases. Like, I always hear about Lyme disease and tick problems, but I've never actually seen or heard anybody with it. Like, I've never met anybody who has it. I don't know anybody who who has gotten it. All I ever hear is like, oh, my cousin got it, or oh, these people got it, or oh, thousands in Ontario have it. But I actually have never met or seen or heard anybody actually have it and i'm not saying that it doesn't exist because it definitely does but it's just one of those things like i i've never experienced somebody telling me well not me specifically but telling the world i guess that they have it and lyme disease can play a real big part in how proteins affect the body so i don't it's it's absolutely incredible that jim miller is even still able to fight with lyme disease because it is a terrorizer of the body. It messes you up. It messes up the proteins and your abilities to be able to intake things properly and all that shit. So the fact that he's still able to um, cut weight and make fights and survive and all that stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Hats off to him. And this has nothing to do with it. But Clay Guida is a workhorse. And he's always been a hard worker. And he's a good wrestler. And he sets... Un, an unreal pace and that could spell disaster for Jim Miller because of um, his inability to properly be able to diet with all this thing all these things happening that's not to take anything away from Jim Miller I think that Jim Miller is a fantastic fighter and he's one of those guys that who always kind of deserved to have a title shot years ago but sort of always fell short right before he got there sort of like Donald Cerrone anyways the last fight we have Colby Covington versus Robbie Lawler and I know this is gonna sound crazy if you watch the whole video through you're gonna be like what the fuck Mitch I have Colby Covington winning the fight by unanimous decision I know I know how can I talk all that shit call him a bitch and then have him winning against an absolute savage like Robbie Lawler I would love nothing more than Robbie Lawler to literally take Colby's head off of his shoulders like <laughs> Redrick Tatum in the Simpsons like when he punched that dude's head right off. Or is it a scary movie? I forget which one it is. But somebody lost a head and it was like, Mike, was it Mike Tyson? I forget who it was. It was a Mike Tyson lookalike. And he punched a guy's head right off his shoulders. I would love to see that happen to Colby Covington. Not, not literally, but, you know, it would just be hilarious to see him get knocked out. You know, because it's just, it's one of those things that he's a guy who really deserves to have a, him. He needs to be taken down a peg for sure. And I would love that to be Robbie Lawler. I would love it to be Robbie Lawler. But I think that Robbie Lawler is at the end of his career. I say that with a heavy heart because ooh, in the last few fights that we've seen, we've seen Lawler not be able to be the savage that he usually is. And although the Askren versus Lawler call was very up for debate, I guess you'd say like it was questionable a lot of people thought that he did go out Lawler said that he didn't but you don't let your arm drop the way that it did and you're conscious like 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 Lawler's been in like 40 fights 
So he knows what it's like when a guy goes unconscious and he knows that they go limp. I don't know why you would ever just let that happen. It literally, like he had his head, his hand over top of his head, like holding his arm, and then he just let it go and just dropped straight to the ground. And I have no idea why he did that. I Maybe he just didn't think that that would be the outcome from doing that, or maybe he just didn't care. But the old Lawler, who really was a ferocious animal, would have thrown Askren off just like he threw him earlier in the fight. He picked him up with ease. So that's why I think that that maybe it wasn't... I think that maybe Lawler was more out than he thinks he was because that's what happens with a blood choke is you can go unconscious in seconds and then you can come to in seconds and that's just the way it goes sometimes with those chokes because you're cutting off everything so you know you're in and out of consciousness very quickly because uh, it's not that dangerous for you actually if you didn't know that being choked unconscious is actually a lot safer than getting beat unconscious I know right anyways Colby Covington He's beaten RDA. He's beaten Damian Maya. He's a good wrestler. Like, I don't like picking wrestlers because wrestlers do tend to be a little bit boring. And they only go to wrestling. That's the only thing I ever hate about watching a wrestler, not a good grappler. Because, like, when you have a guy who's a good grappler, they know how to do reversals and they know how to do other things. It's not just power grappling with wrestling, which is tends to be boring. Um... And the thing that makes it even more boring is he's not an exciting wrestler like GSP or Khabib are. He's real, real boring like Jake Shields. You know, where he just lays on top of you and does nothing and doesn't punch you, doesn't do anything. He's just real good at laying on top of you. He's just joking, but not really. <laughs> um, so he's good. He's a good wrestler. He beat RDA. And in the fight before the Ashkin fight, I don't like using MMA math, but Robbie Lawler lost to to RDA and RDA lost to Kobe Covington and now we have Kobe Covington versus Robbie Lawler so you'd think that because of that because of MMA math that Kobe Covington should beat Lawler logically now sometimes MMA can be illogical sometimes it can go exactly the way that it's supposed to go you know who knows Lawler is a savage maybe we'll see the old Lawler back maybe he's hungry for a good fight who knows but if you had to logically lose, <laughs> logically lose, if you had to logically use your head to pick a proper person who's going to win this fight, the proper logical choice is that Colby Covington is going to wrestle his way to a decision. And that's what I have on mine. Anyways, it's been a long video. I'm glad that I'm back. I'm glad that we got to, this, this video was real fun. It was real fun. And I definitely want to be able to have more videos like this. I kind of went all over the place. I, I wanted to keep it down to... A simple list but you know we're back with a nice long video that we can talk about lots of stuff hopefully you all watch it you love it you enjoy it and if you have any questions or you have anything you want me to talk about in terms of MMA predictions my favorite fighters top five lists whatever you want you just message me or you comment on the video and you make sure to tell me lastly I need everybody to like it I need everybody to share it and I need everybody to subscribe I appreciate you coming watching the video and make sure that you have a great day.